Hi, I am Yellow, and I think coffee should stay in the global market. But I suggest that to sell organic coffee instead of normal coffee, because it's much better to the environment and to our health, plus to the ecosystems too. Coffee is my resource. Coffee is consumed by people all around the world, and mostly in USA. It's used as a drink, commonly or medicines. Some people say they need coffee because to get rid of sleepiness, stress every day. But mostly people say they drink it because they like it very much. Mostly coffee are produced in South America and South Africa, and is consumed in America and Japan. It's weird. And after coffee berries are picked, they get roasted in the sun and get sugar down, and they get sold in the stores. Supermarkets near your store. And this is how to make coffee. Eighty-six percent of the adults ever drink coffee every single day. This means that half of the adults drink coffee every day in the world. It's a good thing to economics, but it negatively affects to the world and to the nature. Coffee has negatively affected our nature and the, rain, the ecosystem in the rainforest because if they cut it lots of trees, that means the producers are gone. So the birds who eat the trees and the birds who have nests in the trees are dying out of them. It's a very sad story. How can we for coffee fair? Well, it would be free trade, but people don't fear trade. They do an unfair trade because they don't have anything worth that much of coffee. And they use slave workers to get coffee. And use people who want to work for coffee, not slaves. Governments are trying to find a way to achieve a goal of fair trade, but citizens and companies are struggling with doing it. Because one kilo of coffee they traded for one kilo of milk. I don't know which is valuable and which is not, but who cares? That much company just money, not the value of it. Well, the point. And coffee. coffee. Every adult drinks coffee every single day. Day. Well, I told you, like almost two thirds of the people drink coffee every single day. Really, it's really surprising, and that's why the consumer amount is so big. How can we change the ecosystems? Well, first, if we plant a small kind of coffee plant all around the world, like a little bit, they can be more money to to the economics and the world and there will be more habitats for the birds to live in with habitat or maybe we can produce a new coffee plant for science and plant and can be survived in any any place any weather but it'll take many years but it'll make our economies and our future brighter and awesome that's my opinion you know so if we make this decision from the slides before, more than 90% of the birds will come back from it to the farm, and there will be more species of birds coming up, and more bugs also. So this means the ecosystem will be equal and balanced as before, or maybe. I think we should still keep selling coffee in the global market, like almost more. But I think we should sell organic coffee instead, because it's good for the environment and for us, of course. Maybe to the ecosystems too. And so if we far. keep selling coffee in the economics, our economics will raise high quality more because the consumers drinking more last ten years ago and the more coffee produced next last year because it's getting rising and rising and rising. And and if our world is not a sustainable world, it'll be our world will feel like garbage and be a mess with. So our world should be sustainable. Things should be thrown away if they're already broken or old, or by things that can last longer to make our world clean and beautiful as possible. And this is my presentation. And thank you for listening to my presentation. And my opinion is to keep our world clean and selling coffee. Really. Really long until it's gone forever and ever. Thank you very much.